looking at through the lens of an hourly chart. See this gap right here? Notice there's an absence of one over here, but look at all the back and forth price action. So we have only sell side here offered. So that means the candle went through between this candle's low and this candle's high. It delivered on the downside. So it's sell side delivery. Inefficient in the form of buy side delivery. So it's offered here on this candle. Then the next candle, we open, trade down, rally back up, and close right here. Next candle opens, trades down, stops right inside that gap low, then sends it higher. This is a balanced price range. Balanced price ranges tend to either stop at their high or low or midpoint, or which will be consequent encroachment, midpoint of the gap. We can see that happening essentially here. So this extended through, and again, this is the reason why it's not supply and demand, folks. We cut through candles to get to a narrative. The algorithm is going right back to this inefficiency. And the fact that we traded back and forth here, buy side, sell side has been offered. It left that range right here. If it ever comes back down into it, it's highly unlikely that we'll trade to the low of this gap again and through it. So that's what makes a ICT balanced price range. We also have a imbalance here. I wanted to make sure I highlighted this gap, but this candle's low and this candle's high. That would be typically the shaded area here. So don't be confused. I'm not drawing it to here to make up the 60 minute fair value gap, which is in the form of a buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency. So only buy side was offered here. Sell side was offered to it there. And then quickly after hitting the balance price range, consequent encroachment price immediately erupted to the upside, working up into this fair value gap in the form of a city. Sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency.